Hello, you. Welcome to Geekism, and welcome back to Zoo Tyke. What was that then? Oh, one of the cats knocked something off the sofa. Hello, welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. Uh, right, thank you for the feedback in the last episode. First of all, we're going to try and fix out the trampled terrain that we have a bit of an issue with here. So let's come down to that. Uh, so we're going to terrain, terrain type, and apparently we can come around here and we can find, we might have to come down to like one size, but eventually we will find somewhere... Trample terrain, yeah, and there might be some more. There's oh, it's that one there. Look, now I think that's because we had too many in here. Uh, that's raptors. Did that just say? Large draft shelter, nice. Uh. Okay, I'm going to say we, we got it. Let's have a look at what, what we think. Exhibit is well suited for wolfies. Nice, okay. So hopefully that's not a problem. It is a bit of a smaller enclosure. Apparently a few people are saying that my enclosures are a little small. Apologise for that. We'll probably fix that as we carry on. But we've got a nice little bit of a North American area over here. I'm thinking I'd like to move on into uh, another sort of style, perhaps. Uh, let's just check them all that everyone's okay. Exhibit, yeah, Moose one's doing good. Okay, uh, more animals have become available to purchase. Nice. Okay, so let's have a look. So a lot of savannah stuff. Uh, see, I do like the bison. I do like the idea of bison. Um, we've got grizzlies. What else have we got? Anything down here that's sort of North American? Snow leopard. No, they're going to be the Himalayas, aren't they? Uh, so we've got the bighorn sheep. Um, polar bears, Arctic wolf. Crocs, seals, camels, gems back there, Africa. So I'm thinking we could do a uh, one that includes both bighorn sheep and moose, deciduous forest, highland. No, they're, they're not. They're mixed. Well, I'll tell you what, then. Let's go for bighorn sheep as the last of our... Um, American animals because it's a little bit of a different uh, feel and look to them. So let's bring them here. Uh, I think with some. I think one thing we do to do is try and sort out what we're doing terrain-wise here. No, because the, the the terrain's all a bit funky here, right? So let's come round to there so we can see this bit here. We've got to do something about so. Uh, here we go, terrain. Let's use that one. Okay, so if we bring that down, there we go. That's all the same level now, right? If we do something like that, we can bring it back up to this level. Okay, so let's uh, let's come up to path. Uh, oh, did we get another path then? Cobblestone. Hmm, cobblestone doesn't look very nice. I'm gonna give it to keep it to gravel. And then we'll come up here like this. Okay. But what we will do is have a bit of cobblestone there. And on that we will put some uh scenic pieces. So how about some benches? What's this? Venomous spiders, nice. Uh so if we have some benches here. There we go. And above those benches... Oh, can we not place those? Okay, well, how about we have those there? That's a bit of a viewing platform area. Everyone seems pretty happy. And then we'll make all of this uh, Ibex. So I imagine the goats, they're going to want some... Um, they're going to want some, like, height variation, right? Now, if we got... Oh, finally, we have concrete exhibit fence with plexiglass. There we go. Animals can't climb or jump. Um, it's expensive. And guests cannot see into an exhibit only. Uh, only made with concrete fencing. Yeah, no, okay. So that's fine. So what I want to do is bring a little bit of that here. This way. Right. Like that. That doesn't seem to line up to me. Does it? It does. I 
Let's try and drag them together there. Oh, right. No. There we go. We want that one there. There we go. Let's get rid of you. Okay, one of them like that says that we've got a bit of a sort of backstage area, but because you don't you don't want the whole thing open, you know? You don't want the whole thing to be viewable. Viewable? Viewable. So then what we'll do is have a couple of those there. And then a few more concrete that way. And then we'll open it up. So uh primates like climb out, we don't have to worry about that. Um Let's bring this this way. Over to here. Doesn't have to be a huge one, this, I don't think. There we go, nice. Uh, can't remember what we're putting in there, so I'm just going to do that for now. Um, and we're going to put the door over there. All right, so terrain. I want to actually raise the terrain up here to there. No, just to there. Uh, and then level it out. Oh my word, see that has just gone horribly wrong, so I'm going to undo that. And bring it around so I can see what's going on a little bit. I want that there, there we go, but not that one. There we go. Uh, that one there. Nope. This is the, there we go. We're trying to figure out how how this works now. So, nope. Let's just can we undo that that we just did? What's that doing to people? That's really messing them up. It's getting rid of some. We don't want that there, do we? There we go. Right. Okay. Let's put that path back in for a second. There we go. That's that's all fixed then, and then we can come up this way. Okay, so let's bring that up there. I mean, you really, you could be there actually. That's that's fine. Hmm. That's what we want. There we go. And then this now. Oh, that's changing the fence, but that's okay. I feel like we can adjust that. I want to fix that fence, I think. So let's come here. Yes. Yes. And all of that. And then coming into fences, let's have a look for something a little bit lower. Wooden slat exhibit that should join up there. Nice. There we go. So now we've got a lower viewing angle now onto the onto the uh, the little duties there. Okay. So what I might do actually is replace them with that one just to kind of keep that neat. There we go. So you've got a bit of a viewing platform here, but we'll keep that open. Yeah. Okay. That this is all working now. There we go. Right. So let's bring it around here. And this will be the last um, of the North American animals. We'll probably start on some savannah stuff next, I think. That looks good there. Nice. Okay. Um, let's get some um, sort of plain, plainish looking trees. Something. Oh, they're also a bit big. What about something like that? Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, there we go. That's the more sort of size I'm talking about. There we go. And we'll. Uh, that area in a little. There we go. Fencing. Let's have a look at some low fencing. I think we'll stick to this to kind of keep the area tied all together. Okay, and that can go there, although I don't really know what's next, to be honest, from there. So we'll leave that like that for now. Uh, and let's put some of these animals in and figure out what they need. So we're going to go for the American Bighorn Sheep. American Bighorn Sheep live in small herds. American Bighorn Sheep need high sheer cliffs to climb on. Right, okay. We might struggle with them, you know. 
I've got a feeling it might be a little bit too small. So let's go for two males and three females. And let's see what they... Ah, 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 ah okay, okay. <laughs> right, they can break out of that, can they? Okay, that's interesting to know, so... <laughs> Ah, okay. Uh, let's go back to fences then. Low. So which one did we put in then? It's one of these low ones that was useful, wasn't it? You can see, there's no barrier. All animals may jump over. There's no barrier. Low fences, low guesses seem to be well. It here's me thinking that that the, the the cliff face would be enough, but I guess not. So what we need to do here then is come the terrain and we'll do a, a dry moat um, to see if we can get this working. So if we do something like that. I can't imagine they're going to be able to jump up that. We can fix the balls. That's not a problem. And then come in and sort of... There we go. So let's get rid of that piece of wall. Yeah, and that piece of wall. Okay. And then come back into here. Fix them. Uh, I mean, that's what I want to do with them, and hopefully, that's still an exhibit, right? I'm going to close them off just so I can line them up a bit better. That's saying it's joined up, so I'm going to go with it. I'm um, going to continue to move them over to there. Okay, and then fix that. Unpause that, see so we're getting on there. You, you're not going to be able to get up now, are you? All right. So what you got to tell me about? Prefers an exhibit with a greater elevation. Happier with more rocks, too much grass, brown stone, not enough shelters. Okay. So a higher elevation. Let's let's do something about that then. So uh, terrain, and we'll lift it up. As long as that's not messing too much with that, which it doesn't seem to be. Oh, okay. That last one was too much. Oh, make your mind up. Um, not big enough for the number of animals it currently holds. Have you got yourselves all stuck down there now? Or is that just where you want to be? It's just where you want to be in it. That's a good, really good view down there now, though. You see, that's why I, that's why I like that. They're just hanging out down there, aren't they? Right, I'm going to pause the game then because the animal welfare is not great at the moment. Uh, still not big enough for the number of animals it has. So let's find a, a female and sell that. Yes, there we go. Still not big enough. Well, I suppose the obvious thing is just to extend this bit here, right? So let's do that because I don't mind. I don't want to give them too small a space. I'm just the, th the thing is, I've kind of boxed myself in there with with the amount of, with the amount of space I've given the first few, right? So if we go too big or small with one or the other, they're not going to be too happy about it. So how do you feel about that? Not big enough. Well, tough. Uh, let's see if we can get some things in. Prefers a greater elevation. Uh, happy with more rocks. Too much grass. Not enough brown stone terrain. Uh, not enough grey stone terrain. And fresh water as well, of course. So let's get into here. Then I'll tell you what. Then we'll make we'll make that the the water. First of all, uh, not salt water, of course. Fresh water. Uh, have we got have we got things down there that are stuck? Yep. Uh, let's pick pick up each animal. I want to be able to see 
exhibit 15 uh, I'll pick them all up there we go get them out of the way there um, let's have a look happy with more rocks too much grass there we go so we've got rid of the terrain and the uh, size now which is good um, too much grass uh, not enough brownstone not enough greystone right let's work on that then because that should be an easy one to fix terrain wise greystone gravel brownstone there we go so I reckon we could probably get away with making all of that brownstone greystone excuse me like so and then using a smaller bringing in something like that I'm going to just guess that we're getting this right to be honest right now um, we will aim for that let's have a look uh, and there's not enough grass and too much grey okay so regular grass so the grey stone is all down the bottom here so it needs to kind of stay down the bottom really doesn't it the, 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 the mountains need to be mountainous uh, be happy with more rocks that's fine uh, but they also need a shelter so we'll go for the shelter over here I think um, let's have a look animal shelters so something uh, not cavey really is it not not large giraffe or large elephant so wood shelter animals in captivity often need a place of privacy both small and large two animals are happy with this one capacity is four so I mean that literally can go blank there and it's done all right so that's fine we'll stick with that um, other than that there isn't really much I mean there's some toys but I don't think any of those are really suitable for little things like this uh, rocks they can have uh, highland rock formation highland rocks uh, highland animals that enjoy rocks and exhibit will enjoy this highland rock formation so I'm all about this but I don't think we're gonna oh we can go there on the back that looks good doesn't it yeah look at that okay uh, and then we'll place down some like regular rocks too in fact I'm gonna I'm gonna unpause while we place down some regular rocks tricky thing here is going to be able to find spots they can go because uh, we haven't got much uh, much flat thingy happy with more rocks I'm happy to kind of go rock crazy uh, greater elevation not really sure we can do anything about that foliage do, do you not want any foliage in here now we have highland animals, right? I mean, we have highland foliage, excuse me. So a little bit's okay. Um, I, mean, I don't want to go crazy if you're not really, if it's not your bag, you know. But you have a little bit of foliage. Okay, too much, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that it's still in North America, though. Yeah. Okay, so it's the right one. It's just too much of it. So I'm going to say that's enough. Feeling crowded by too many guests. Okay, interesting. So, too many guests is this. This is the this is the viewing section here. So, what I'm going to suggest then is that we chop that viewing section in half, basically. Um, so, we come here and get rid of all of that, and then we come into fencing and carry. Oh, that's not really done very well, has it? There we go. Uh, guess leave it like that. And then we bring the path out another way. So terrain, let's bring... There we go. Actually, no, 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 that was right. I want to do... Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to do. And there. And the same on that side. There we go. So that's all smooth down now. And concrete paths down into what will be uh, a new section. Okay, so oh, actually, we can we can change this terrain all up, can't we? There we go. Now you can. Am I allowed to move people? Because oh, you're just going to keep going till you found yourself. There we go. So that should probably make you greater elevation. Yeah, that should make you a bit happier about about guess. I mean, the only thing I can really suggest now is. He's doing something silly like that. Still, still higher elevation. 
Yes, if I mess any more up, we're gonna get. Right. I'm I'm saying we're done. I'm saying we're done there. Uh, but otherwise, see, it looks good. Just they're not quite perfectly happy about it, unfortunately. Uh, but what we can do now is bring in these bits of path here and hope hope this doesn't. Ah, that's interesting. We have to fix that because I hope this doesn't mess them up too much. But that's that really needs to be. I oh, see that you're happier about that, but not that one. I mean, you really are contrary, aren't you? <laughs> wow, he's happy about it. What well, somebody is. There we go, a really nice little busy area going on here. I love it. Now we can have uh, somebody come up and actually feed them, which is nice. So let's go to our staff. Uh, so Zookeeper 2, um, where's your zone? You're currently doing Grey Wolves and Exhibit 15. There we go. And then what we'll do is we'll rename Exhibit 15 now to... I still don't know what these are. What are they? Bighorn Sheep. There we go. So you are now Big... Horn, whoops, big horn sheep exhibit. There we go. And a member of staff will be on his way there pretty soon. And you've got this nice open bit here with a look down into the water. And and then a pretty, uh, and then another one over here. Begs you can't find any food. I know, the guy's on his way though. Look, he's literally here walking his way up. And are we making money yet? We have never, never made profit. We were close that year, actually. Even with purchasing costs of 5000 we were close that year. Construction costs, excuse me. So if we didn't do anything, I think we would actually make money. Oh, look at this. That's hay. Wow, that's a, that's a pile of hay, that there, isn't it? Look at that. So I think, uh, let's have a zoom out and see how we've got that. That's a nice little North American area. I mean, we've got a hell of a space here to build into that we just haven't really uh wow well, i didn't even consider it would be so small so what i what i would like to do i think is often that we've got this sort of tight tight knit uh north american area that kind of opens up now into an area over here but then i what i really want to do is like a savannah a big savannah here on this side um i don't believe you can have um uh, cars or anything in this but there's definitely things we can do to uh, to make it look good. Now, wh one thing I would like to know, actually, before I move on, is there a way of doing elevated paths? Other than uh, kind of like what we're doing here, building the actual ground up, is there any way to do elevated paths? Because one thing I'd really like to do is like a nice, um, a nice big area for looking at like giraffes and stuff. So something like that. I think that's probably going to be how we have to do it. I mean, that's just so tricky to get something nice, but... Uh, Bighorn Sheep has given birth. Okay. Is that is that allowed? I'm, I'm okay with it, but we've now got probably too many in there now, right? Let's have a look. Uh, steep preservation. Where's our baby? I want to see our baby. There it is, look. There's a little baby one, look. I'll get a screenshot of that. Bamboo is now available. I'm not quite sure what that means. Ah, oh, look, it actually is a little baby one as well. That's really quite cute. There we go. Screenshotted that. Um, all right, good. So I've used a bit of foliage here to kind of cover up the big old wall that's in the way. So that's that seems to be good. Uh, but yeah, what was I saying? Sorry, yes. Is there a way to do raised elevation? Because how I've got it in my head is going to probably have to be uh, like this, really. So um, do a cobblestone one to show you. It. So something like that sort of leveled out. If there's a way of doing a raised path uh, that I don't know about, Please let me know, because I think that would be really quite cool. But at the minute, it doesn't look great, does it? I suppose the only thing you could do uh, is use a... Is kind of do something like this. Oops. And... 
kind of yeah maybe maybe that's the way to go about it then i think maybe that's the way to go about it but yeah you'll have to let me know there's a lot of people in the comments uh real big fa big fans of this game actually so i'm really kind of hoping you can uh large chimpanzee bars nice really oops really kind of hoping you guys can uh, can help me out with this well, what i think we can do is if we do something like that uh to kind of close it in more animals nice we're doing well here aren't we although that did stop me doing what i wanted to do uh, and then above that we can just have some of these in place for for looks right I mean, that is, I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of tempted just to leave that there because that, if there's no better way of doing it, that to me seems like a good a good vantage point for seeing a big old uh, giraffe and zebra. Do we have zebras yet? They're going to be, yeah, look, see, plain zebra prefers to be large herds of their own kind with other herd animals as well from the African savannah. Um, fresh water to drink from, uh, large enough uh, living herds and only elephant shelters are large enough. So I'm thinking... Uh, giraffe shelters. There. So I'm thinking we need to do like giraffes, Thompson's gazelle, zebras, um, some uh, some lions. <laughs> no, we keep the lions separate. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that is something we can do there. So let's just we might as well carry on this a little bit because oh, what was the last one there? Brick. Was it brick? Oh, that's that actually. Although it is brick. Because uh, what I would like that to be is wood, really, but it doesn't seem like wood's a thing for us just yet. So we'll keep it that way instead. So what I'm thinking here is we need to do one of these to kind of... Oh, that's that's nearly it, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. And then need to come down that side really... Really quite funky system for this <laughs> for this stuff, but you know what? It's how many years old, you know? You've really got to let it off, haven't you? Uh, there we go. And then that one, all this needs to be the same level because we're just not there yet. There we go. And then there, should we have to just pull that up? Perfect. And then finally, oh, no, wrong one that one there okay so from there then we're gonna have to put that fence needs to come down here yeah and this will have to come into like a large plaza bit here really to kind of say you know you mean you mean the Serengeti uh, lemurs of Madagascar nice uh, Uh, oh, that's interesting. I th that isn't how I thought that would react. Everything, everything else is okay. There we go. Down to there. Down to there. Okay, so that's going to be the um, space up to that one. And then we'll have... Let's go sand. Mm, it looks a little bit petting zoo, doesn't it? Let's go concrete instead. Uh, but maybe we can do a little bit of detail there in the middle. Okay. All right, I'm going for that. And then the the actual exhibit itself. What did we unlock there? Concrete wall chambers and strong fence layers guests to see in. Uh, and, and then just the regular window ones as well. So let's bring that down to the wall there. But we will have a few of these go in over here just as a little sort of vantage point nothing too crazy though we can bring that up to there and get rid of uh, that little bit there oh no not the wall just that put that back in uh, oh that's the high version of that one okay well we don't want that we want the low version of it uh, exhibit? Oh, that isn't really an exhibit. I don't want it to be an exhibit. Uh, but it is. Where are you going, lady? 
There we go. That's going to make an exhibit as well. I mean, we could stick something in there, like a warthog or something, random. Um, I bet that doesn't... Weak strength and almost all animals may jump over it. There's no other barrier. Uh, low fences let guests to see in. Okay, so, oh, hold on. These are the ones that aren't exhibits, I see. Uh, right, in that case, I'll never place them with some hedges. Yes, there we go. That's cool. I like that. Okay, and then we want to start bringing in some sort of savanna, savanna trees to give people an idea of of what's going on over here. Okay, so lots of this sort of grass. There we go. Uh, nothing too crazy big. Oh, look at that thing. That's good. Acacia. No, that's too big. There we go. That's more like it. There we go. That's just a bit of. That's just a bit of. Uh, Nice looking space there. And then I think there's there's actual savannah grass as well, right? Yeah, there we go. Put some of that in. And some and a bit of dirt as well. There we go. That is all just for show though. Okay. If there's a better way of doing that, let me know. But I, I actually think that's a pretty pretty sweet solution for a for an overview uh looking thing. Where where would I find the uh, oh, here we go. So I want some more benches here where they seem appropriate and like trash as well because you got to keep on top of your trash right um doesn't seem we've opened up any new i do like the zoo map i know we've put down a couple one of those already but they just look really neat oh look at this a rock observation oh that's a bit over the top in it concrete one as well um a duck pond? Oh, look at the duckies. Oh, I'm all about a duck pond. I want a duck pond in there. That's what I want in there. And then we'll just uh, we'll just spread this out this way. Because, I mean, it's kind of rude not to have a duck pond, isn't it? Um, there we go. Let's get rid of this bit of fence. Uh, and there as well. And then we'll carry on. Where are you? I didn't realise it was actually a proper fence for doing this kind of thing. There we go. Lovely. And then here we'll just have some regular, um, yeah, some regular trees to kind of fill that area out. There we go. Nice full area there, but we've still got the old uh, ducky pond in there. That's gorgeous. And some lower lying shrubs here just to kind of fill that area out. Uh, oh, that's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, look at that lovely willow. Where can I have one of those? Right there. But also, I would like some. No, that'll do actually. Fences that literally needs one piece of fence there. Up to that, that's really annoying. I can't put it there, it's got the weird post missing. Never mind. Okay, so there ain't much to see yet, folks, but there will be. There will be. That didn't mean to sound so uh, ominous, to be honest. But yeah, in the next episode, we'll put down some uh, some stuff. In there, we'll start the savannah. That's what we'll do. That is what we will do. So, uh, benches. Let's get a couple of picnic tables in here. Cause no, can I? It's just because you're in the way. Right, we'll move then. There we go. A couple of them in next episode, and then this path will probably end up coming down here as well for another area to look into here. But definitely, sort of the savannah, I think, is the way to go. Uh, stick pole. Now, is that different to? the wooden one I've been using yes it is it's more it's a bit more sort of tiki which is good that that looks different so let's do something like oops let's have one float but otherwise let's do something like that yeah I think that's neat I think that's neat I'm looking forward to building on that on the rest of that next time um but today that wasn't what we were doing was it really today we were doing some um some goats 
big horn sheep. There we go. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out. Far six days to go till Planet Zoo. Exciting stuff. Uh, thanks to all of our patrons. They make these videos possible through their incredible support at patreon.com slash geekism. And uh, don't forget to check out our affiliate links, cheap games and other goodies, while supporting the channel at the same time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.